I think you're here today because you want to learn how to do the most sleekest, classiest lock bun. I got you. I always do, don't I? I get asked all the time, Chris, your buns are so neat. Do you use a lot of bobby pins? Do you use a lot of hairspray? And I'm like, hell no. I only need like one bobby pin to create the most sleekest, classiest lock bun. Let's not waste no more time. Let's get into it. Roll it. You guys are gonna get ready with me because my dude is taking me out to eat tonight please don't judge me because i don't know what i'm doing when it comes to makeup i'm kind of like makeup challenged i just know how to put stuff on and try to make it look half decent but don't judge me okay do not judge me in these comment sections i'm not gonna have it i love y'all so i need y'all to be nice to me okay okay i think it's the coffee lots of energy okay so number one myth that i can tell you guys that i hate about locks is that they're dirty I wash my hair more, and not even more, more thoroughly now that I have locks. I guess people were so used to like seeing like homeless people with locks or that didn't care for their locks at all and just assume that all people that had locks just did not wash their hair and it was like dirty and smelly. But that really, that, that, that shit really gets on my nerves. I wash my hair a lot and retwist my hair a lot. So this whole, you know, locks are dirty thing is, that's just a myth. Yes, there are some people in this world that do not care at all for their locks. I mean, they just, mm, it's just there, okay? They just out here on a wing and a prayer with their locks. A lot of people that I know, all the people that I run into that have locks, they take great, and I mean great care of their locks. They are at the shop, you know, they are paying up to $130 every two weeks to have them professionally washed and soaked and conditioned and styled so i think whoever came up with that theory that locks is dirty needs to just go fucking kick rock somewhere okay here's another question that i got asked recently you could name three words that pop up in your head when it comes to locks what would it be i would say confidence because boy, you need confidence to rock locks out here today. People don't know how to think out of the box. They don't know how to appreciate anything that's different. If you don't look like everybody else and you march to the beat of your own drum, you just subject yourself to stares and not always, but a lot of the time. So I would definitely have to say confident. Another one is beauty. Locks are so beautiful to me. That is you in your rawest, purest form. There is beauty in the strength of this journey as well. You really, really have to stand 10 toes down and be like, yep, this is my hair, I don't care. I know everybody's wearing straight hair. I know everybody's wearing weaves. I know everybody's wearing braids but I'm rocking locks and I may be the minority, but this is what I wanna do. The third word that pops in my head is individuality. You gotta be an individual because if you are not, people are gonna get in your head and you're gonna end up cutting your locks because people don't know how to appreciate their natural beauty. So then they're gonna try to reflect that on you, that fear, and hopefully you don't feed into it sometimes the pressure is really hard especially when everybody in your group has uh like straight hair or weave or curly hair or something like that you have to be your own self you have to know your own self and be comfortable with that so let's get into this classic lock bun all right guys we're gonna start with a really stretchy headband and then this stuff it's my Shea Moisture Virgin Coconut Oil Finishing Oil Serum. I love this stuff. I just evenly rake it through my hair from root to tip. It makes it really shiny and really soft. Next, I flip my hair over 
Make sure all my locks are evenly in just one ponytail, just gathering it all together. Once you have a good sized ponytail, you just continue to make sure that all your locks are straight inside of your ponytail. That's gonna give it its beautiful, clean, classy look. I make sure that my ponytail is not too tight. I do not like to be in pain. One thing I like to do is to feel around for locks that are baggy. So I feel for them in the back, as you can see. Here's one that is pretty baggy and it's loose. So what I do is I pull it out slowly, very slowly, and then I feel for it at the top. And then once I feel it move at the top, I just pull it and it just goes into a uniformed bun. Watch, boom, there it is. One more time, okay, pull, pull, fill up front, pull. Ah, got it, I got it, I know where it's at. And I pull, bam, oh shit, look at the time. Okay, so let's get this going. Does anyone else have that just one super, super long lock that just grows hella fast out of all the rest of y'all locks, like a Superman lock? Anyways, um, now despite my dashing good looks, these hair nets are the star of this video. I cannot live without these hair nets. They are my number one go-to pick when it's time to style my lock bun. So I'm just gonna just take this out. So this is what it looks like when it's out of the pack. And ooh, look at that. So I'm gonna, that's not how you, ouch. I like to make sure that I have all of my locks just kind of uniform to one side before I apply my hairnet. If you notice, I'm treating the hairnet like a hammock, just making sure that all my locks are in there. And then I start my swooping process, just swooping it over. I call this process just kind of like kneading it like dough, your bun. You're going to form it into the bun that you want it to be. Just play around with it. Do not be afraid to get handsy with your locks. The net is very strong. Don't worry about ripping it. Just do what you do and make sure that it's the bun that you want. And then you take a bobby pin and you make sure that you just secure the rest of the net in there. Nobody will be able to see it because it is an invisible net. So look at that, bam, uh, work it out, uh, body roll, body roll, body roll. Next is my favorite part. I love doing me some baby hair. You can judge me, I don't care, but I'm a swoop, 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 swoop. Here we go, uh, this side, this side, get it real good. Sometimes I like to do a little Betty Boop, little curl. And then I swoop that, swoop that, another Betty Boop. Swoop, flip. You see how I flip my edge brush like a drumstick? <laughs> Skills, baby. Next, I have my satin scarf. I like to do this just to give it that, you know, clean, classic look. Get all the fray hairs down and make sure that it's flat. And I just feel all over. I'm a goofy. All right, guys, we're almost there. Voila, here we go and take it off, bam. Here is the back and here is the front. We are in full effect. Look at this, bam, classic, sleek. Ah, oh. I'm telling you guys, you cannot go wrong with a classic bun, no matter what you're wearing, be it a dress, be it jeans and t-shirt, the classic bun is in. And also, sometimes I like to add a little bit of jewelry to my hair. I like to find a lot of classic and antique, like brooches and stuff from the Goodwill. And then I piece them together and sometimes make little hair trinkets like this. I love to add them to my locks to give it that flair. Now let's get into this classic look, honey. I absolutely love nude colors on brown skin. It is chef's kiss. This is a bodysuit that I just matched with a pair of old ripped up Levi jeans. Absolutely comfortable, ready for tonight. I go in my closet, I grab my favorite brown shoes. This chocolate handbag is my pick of the night and I absolutely love it. It actually holds a lot of stuff and it goes great with my outfit. Love the color, love it. So I lace these babies up, I love lace shoes. Love, love, love. Got my toes out, here we go. Lace them up some more, uh. Bam, uh, uh, look at that. Feed them, girl, feed them, feed them, girl. Yes. Like, subscribe, till next time, I love you guys, peace.